Hi class, uh, welcome to fall semester. Um, this is our week one video. Um, I wanted to take a minute um, and go through what's gonna be happening this week and what's due just so you can kind of get a feel for the class and if you have any questions, you can let me know. Um, over here on the left-hand side, uh, under when you click on content, this is your navigation. So you can see all the weeks of the course uh, divided up into week 14, which is the last week, and then all the tasks are associated um, with each week when you click on the week and then um, it opens it up. So you can see in week one, we actually only have one lesson, but if you clicked on like week two, you could see that we have three lessons, which are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For week one, you actually have one lesson and it's due on Saturday. So you click into the week one lesson um, and it will take you to uh, all the different tasks for the entire week. Um, you just work your way through chronologically. So you'd click on the overview page um, and it will give you sort of an overview of what we're doing. You'll have a discussion board, something to read, something to write, and a quiz, and then the submission screen at the end. Um, so when you click over and you know you move to the next window, you'll move into the first task, um, which is a welcome to the course. So you can kind of see um, that the overview shows you everything and then you can advance through each task. Um, when you get ready to submit your work um, by Saturday at 11 p.m. Mountain Time, you'll go to the submission screen, which is the final one here. There's a reading quiz, right? The web page here, um, when you're advancing through the lessons, it, it'll help you um, get to the submission screen. So the quiz is different than the the quiz or the lesson submission that you do each lesson. So each lesson you'll submit, it's it's labeled as a quiz, but it's basically um, where you indicate that you've done all the tasks uh, and that you often will have text boxes or things to upload um, in order to complete that lesson on time. So if I go to the instruction page of the submit lesson of lesson one, um, it gives you a task of the four things that are due with that lesson. So normally this would be one lesson, but you have all week to do it. So you're gonna update your iLearn profile um, and introduce yourself on the discussion board this week. You're gonna watch some clips um, from the Karate Kid and Samuel Scudder. You're gonna begin writing a credo statement that isn't due until lesson three. So it's not due for a couple lessons and then a quiz on course expectations and requirements. I really like this page. I use this page as sort of my task. I usually look at it first before I go through each page of the lesson um, and that that kind of gives me an idea of all the things that I'm going to be required to have done by that deadline at 11 p.m. Mountain Time on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, anyway, so that that uh, is kind of how the course is organized. Um, you know, you click into the week one, you see the lessons there. It's not a self-paced course. You need to stay on task. It's okay if you're working on the lessons for the week, but there are often peer review boards or tasks that are required to be done um, at a certain time, so you can't get too far ahead. And plus, I think the workload is enough that you won't really be able to because it's just a lot to do with each lesson. Um, so, so, but know that, you know, kind of stay within the week um, or, or I'll, I'll let you know you're getting too far ahead. Um, discussion boards, when you click into discussions, um, there are links within each lesson to take you to the discussion boards, but you can also click in discussions and see all the boards. You can see some people have begun to introduce themselves on the introduction board as they are asked to do this week. Um, hopefully that kind of helps you get oriented. I uh, subscribe to these question and conversation boards, so I should get an alert if you have questions. It's a great place to post questions um, so that I can jump in and answer as soon as I can. Um, I'm excited to work with you, excited to read your writing, and I just look forward to a great semester. Thanks, class.